a luxurious hotel in the Swiss Alps becomes a fortress. A convoy of limousines delivers world leaders, billionaires, even royalty. Names like Kissinger, Merkel, Zuckerberg, Soros, Gates, the power brokers of the world. This is the annual Bilderberg meeting. Known as the Illuminati. Well, Bilderberg claims it's just a forum to discuss issues concerning Europe and the United States. They don't keep minutes or meeting logs. Press is not allowed. No public statements are made. Members are sworn to silence. Why? That's the theory. The Bilderberg Group wants to create a single global surveillance state with one currency and a compliant media. It is impossible not to reach the conclusion that the non-reporting of these events is anything other than a conspiracy between the organizers and the media. It merely confirms the belief of many that the hidden agenda and purpose of the Bilderberg Group is to bring about undemocratic world government. If you look closely, you'll see hints, if not blatant evidence of this. Major world events often follow Bilderberg meetings. Brexit shocked the world, but Bilderberg discussed it weeks before. The COVID-19 pandemic emerged after talks about China and a stable strategic order. We have a new name for the coronavirus. The World Health Organization has officially called it COVID-19. Climate change is a popular topic at Bilderberg meetings. They want more regulations, a carbon tax, a carbon credit system. Is their concern for the environment genuine or do they want to reshape the global economy? Social media censorship and the concern for, quote, misinformation intensified post Bilderberg. Coincidence or an intentional way to control the narrative? In 2008, an unusually high number of bank executives attended. Months later, the global economy nearly collapsed. Major news overnight, House and Senate negotiators have reached agreement on a massive plan to bail out imperiled financial markets. Governments spent $15 trillion bailing out banks and corporations. Wealthy executives received bonuses while taxpayers footed the bill. The number Bilderberg meetings have been known to transform obscure people into global powerhouses. Margaret Thatcher and Tony Blair were fairly minor political players. Not long after attending a Bilderberg meeting, they became prime ministers. Angela Merkel wasn't very well known. A few months after Bilderberg, she was Germany's first female chancellor. In France, Emmanuel Macron went from banker to president. In Italy, Romano Prodi went from professor to prime minister. Pedro Sanchez became Spain's prime minister without an election. Mariano Rajoy has been ousted as Spain's prime minister after a no-confidence vote, with Socialist Party leader Pedro Sanchez taking his place. After a Bilderberg meeting, Jens Stoltenberg became Norway's prime minister and is now the Secretary General of NATO. Ursula von der Leyen jumped from German Defense Minister to leader of the European Union. Bilderberg has Europe covered. What about the United States? They recruit from there too. What does a governor of Arkansas have to do with international policy? Why was he at a Bilderberg meeting in 1991? Nobody knows. But a few months later, Bill Clinton announced his run for president. To provide that proven leadership is our challenge in 1992. And that is why today I proudly announce my candidacy for President of the United States of America. By 1993, he was in the Oval Office. The campaign, he attended a Bilderberg conference, which raised questions. Why was this inexperienced politician mingling with the global elite? Nobody knows. But a few months later, he clinched the presidency. Kristen Sinema, a little-known congresswoman, attended in 2018. Then she became a pivotal U.S. Senator. This pattern spans decades. Maybe the Bilderbergers simply have an eye for talent. Nope. Maybe these people rose so quickly because they were extremely intelligent and competent. Nope. Or maybe they were handpicked for roles in an even more exclusive, secretive, and powerful organization. Yahtzee. The Bilderberg Group focuses on the United States and Europe. But to create a one-world government, you'll need to influence nations around the world. It's been rumored that Bilderberg is a vetting process, an audition for a role in an organization that nobody really knows about, but has tremendous global influence, the Trilateral Commission.